It is from the throne of God. And it is for us. It's for his church. To be built up. To be trained. And to be sent out. To bring his people back. To the house of the Lord. I greet the associate pastors. The elders, the board. The ministry heads. The leaders. The leaders. The youth, Abobacha, the children's church, Abantu our visitors, and everyone here present. In the name of Jesus. Give yourself a big hand. It is indeed with great honor, as I've already said, to be standing in front of you this morning and deliver this precious message that drives fear in my heart. I'm speaking under the topic rebuilding broken walls. I'm going to ask our interpreter to read from, to read from the book of Nehemiah chapter 2 Verses 9 to 18. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then Yemaya chapter 2, verse 9. Then I came to the governors of the provinces beyond the Euphrates River and gave them the king's letter. Now, the king had sent officers of the army and horsemen with me. Verse 10. When Sanbalat, the Horonite, and Tobiah, the Ammonite, official had this, it caused them great displeasure that someone had come to see me about the welfare and prosperity of the Israelites. Yes, Lord. Verse 11. So I came to Jerusalem and was there for three days. Then I got up in the night. I and a few men were with me. I did not tell anyone what my God was putting in my heart to do for Jerusalem. And there was no animal with me except the one on which I was riding, so as not to attract attention. Yes, Lord. Verse 13. So I went out at night by the valley gate toward the dragon's wall and to the refuse gate and inspected the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and its gates, which were consumed by fire. Yes, Lord. Verse 14. Then I passed over to the fountain gate and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the animal that I was riding to pass. So I went up at night by the raven of Kidron and inspected the wall. Then I turned back and entered the city by the valley gate and returned. The officials did not know where I had gone or what I had done, nor had I yet told the Jews, the priests, the nobles, the officials, or the rest who did the work. Yes. Verse 17. Then I said to them, you see the bad situation that we were in, how Jerusalem is desolate and lies in ruins and its gates have been burned with fire. Come and let us rebuild the wall of Jerusalem so that we will no longer be a disgrace. Verse 18. Then I told them how the hand of my God had been favorable to me and also about the words that the king had spoken to me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they thoroughly supported the good work. Verse 19. But when Sanbalat and Hor the Horonite and Tobiah the Ammonite official and Geshem the Arab heard about it, they mocked us and regarded us with contempt and said, what is this thing you are doing? Are you rebelling against the king? Mm. I answered them, the God of heaven has appointed us for his purpose mm. and, will, and will give us success. Yes. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build, mm. but you have no portion, right, or memorial in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. This is the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 Verse 17 and 18. Then I said to them, you see the trouble we are in? How Jerusalem lies in ruins with its gate burned come let us build the wall of Jerusalem that we may no longer suffer derision and I told them of the hand of my God that had been upon me for good and also of the words that the king had spoken to me and they said let us rise up and build so they strengthened their hands for the good work. That we may, not, we may no long, longer suffer derision. That we may no longer suffer ridicule. 
that we may no longer suffer mockery. Ukuze singazi sibe nokuhlekwa. That we may no longer be humiliated. Ukuze singabi nakuhlazeka. I love the part that says Ndithanda le ndawo ithi and they said but we will build sizawukwakha Church of Jesus Christ. Bandlalika Yesu Kristo. We are building the church of God. Siyalakha ibandla likathiqo. The question remains. Umbuzo omileyo. When the foundations are shaken. Xa izisekelo zishukuma. What shall the righteous do? Abo ke baba ngamalungiso bazakwenza ntoni. We are standing here this morning. Simile kule ndawo ekuseni nje. Having left our comfortable places and homes. Sishiye indawo zethu ezintofo ntofo. To come and hear the word of the Lord. Uba sizokuva ilizwe likathiqo. At this time and season. Kweli xesha sikulu. And the Lord is saying to us this morning. Ithike inkosi ukuthi ekuseni nje. Come. Izan my church. Bandlalam. Let us build the broken walls of my church. Masake indonga ezivileyo zebandla. Let us build the broken walls of your city. Masake indonga ezivileyo zesixeko senu. Let us build the broken walls of your province. Sake indonga ezivileyo zezephondo lethu and the broken walls of your country. Nendonga ezivileyo zelizwe lethu. Zeziphi ezindonga. What are these walls? The walls of faith. Indonga zokholo. The walls of burdened leadership and congregation. Indonga zenkokheli ezinentshisakalo. The walls of prayer. And and the walls and foundations of divine order. Jesus is saying to us, Come, my church. Let us rebuild the foundations of purity and righteousness. It reminds me of David in the book of Psalms 11. Verse 3. Umkolo we start. At this time, we David. Well, Kasha David. Indonga zom kosiwake. The walls of his army. Indonga the kingdom yake. The walls of his kingdom. Ange kange nikuyo. Even before he went to the kingdom. Indonga the destiny yake. The walls of his destiny are shaking. Zia shuguni iswa. If foundations, is shaking. The anointing, yake, are shaking. They are shaking. Because Saul is chasing him. Saul is chasing him because he was he was admired. David At this time, David, he's in the wilderness. If foundations zobomibake, the foundations of his life, the pesquamans are on top of water. Ubuza lombuzu David. David is asking this question. When the foundations are shaken, that is seko zishukunyi. What then shall the righteous do? Lo wakia ululungisa wezanjan. When admonished by his peers, ka abo abo na abo bemfase to run from. His raging persecutor. Ukuba abaleke abo bamchushisa. Who sought to destroy his life and his city. Lowa ufuna kushabalalisa ikubukum kanibaki. On his account. Nge kamalake. He knows who he must tend to. Uya yas ba kubana maka peke kuye. For refuge. Ukuza abelo kusele. Namshan jengonzo. Today church. I donga ze sekelo. Zeli swidi katiko ziwile. The walls of the protection of the word of God have fallen. Ngoba izi seko ziya shugum. Because the foundations are being shaken. He says to them that I respond to Davide. When they say flee to your mountain, when they say Baleku begin to be, go buza ubula wangu Saul, because you are going to be killed by Saul. O San Palat Church, San Palat, O Keshem and Keshem, be mila namshange. Are standing today, not Tobai and Tobias. Baya buza uba, and they are asking. Lengon zoya kuingati ya pelange. It looks like this church of yours is coming to an end. Let breakthrough talu itati ngati ya figinge. This breakthrough is speaking about. Just like David this morning, as we set off, I want us to be reminded about the challenges, the whispers, the ideas, the ideas, the thoughts. 
that come to your mind that bring fear to you the very things that are eating your flesh that drive fear in your heart and spirit and things that you're going to die before time it's like things that are not going to get to their destiny the Holy Spirit is here this morning to say to you you are not alone it happened to David when he was being chased with a spear by the army of Saul but because God is God he found that this earth upon the waters and he established it upon the seas he promises Zach I yes and amen nothing by no means will change what God has proclaimed upon your life and destiny David says and he now. I'm not going anywhere. We are staying here. We are staying here. We are not going anywhere. Even if the mountain is going up. Even if it's going down. We are not going anywhere. We are not going anywhere. I want to say to you this morning. When the utters of hell. Are wielding their bow. When they are holding their spears, this is shugumis and shaking towards your dreams. When the archers of hell and your false accusers are spitting lies towards the church and the righteous, like David will stand and refuse to run to the mountain. Church of Jesus Christ, the foundations are shaken. And when the foundations shake, the walls come down. This morning, church, we refuse to bury our head in the sand. Because the question is standing. When the foundations are shaken, what shall the righteous do? And we want to say this morning, as his church, as the righteous, we will stand up. We will emerge and take our position. Yes, in opposition. We will align ourselves with his purpose. Our sand is coming out of fear. This is Nehemiah. He is standing on top of the walls of Jerusalem. Groaning. We are green. Weeping. We are lila. Mourning. We are zila. Because when you looked, at, you looked at the destruction. After the foundations that were built for years and decades. And then when secular has a claim, then come in here, come in here. We are done His soul is in trouble. Today, we are here to revive the righteous. Whose spirits will mourn? whose spirits will grow over the foundations that are dilapidating of this world over the foundations that are dilapidating the patent leadership over the foundations that are shaking some thunders of prayer over the foundations that are dilapidating the standards of purity. And we want to say this morning when our towns are being run down it is indeed with groaning to realize that our country has been captured by the pangs of the evil one. A is crying. 
Amen. He has come to join. A remnant from captivity by Babylon. Because there are things even now that are, that are capturing us at this moment. The, the political gates, the security gates of this country have been opened. The scripture says when the foundations shake, the walls fall down and the gates get bent by fire. Way before Christ, Christ, Babylon, or rather in Jerusalem has been burnt many times. And God will erect leadership that would be burdened to build. And this morning, we want to say, let us open our ears and open our eyes and open our spiritual nostrils and be able to discern what gates and which gates which angles have been opened in the political sphere which gates have been compromised in the spiritual sphere so we may position ourselves just like Nehemiah this same spirit seeks to capture the church brethren I don't know if you hear what I, what I can feel my brethren can you see what I see Babylon is rising Babylonia is rising up. But in Jamtan to I love God in his word. He says to Hosea, I will let Babylon rise. So that Mnanawe is the remnant. That, has be, that is being kept for the last day. Exactly. I'll send it decision. But when you're taking a decision and not say I didn't know media. he's going to open the social media technology. open the technology and bring everything he will expose it to all forms and show you everything and all kinds That's of iniquity and promiscuity so that when you walk into sin you know exactly what you're getting into it was far Hallelujah. There's nothing that, lead, that, that God is, is, does not see. So many things have neutralized our country. For instance, in the past decade, we have experienced a rise of a pseudo church and false prophecy in our nation. Praise God is being destroyed. It's amazing the result come out of that. It perpetuated immorality and deception of all forms. Criminal activities were on the rise. Promiscuity. Drugs. And substance abuse. In legislation of certain laws. And substance, substances that are compromising the quality of our society have all contributed to the fiber that we see today. And, it, and it's all because of the compromise in, our, in the foundations of this nation. Because our leaders in the name of liberalism we were not able because we can't blame it on them alone. Because we also have a part to play. In the name of liberalism, we forgot to mend the gates. And lawlessness and corruption came in. The lawlessness and corruption that we see from roads to revenues is unprecedented and it's scary 
ni papeli ya nyuka Babylon is rising God has not gone but we are not scared for me Kumke. This was the first pandemic. Into yo qala ebi pandemic le. It ain't figi corona. When corona came, sabe kudala i foundations zethu zishukuma. We were already standing on shaken foundations. Ngoba sivulele inhlanga. Because we let in nations. I can't be wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But again, kodwa kwakhona. We were not able to sift. Asikwazanga basahlulahlule. Kange sikwazi put it controls. We couldn't put controls. We couldn't put terms and conditions. We did not set boundaries to what must and should come in. And must and should go out. And we find ourselves as this country losing our parastatals. Losing our resources. Boisa bring back Boisa to bring back Lochi Boisa so much bring back Lochi Boisa Boisa siyakhala njengona yamaya namhlathi siyakhala njengona yamaya thiko wethu we joining up with Ezra we joining in with Nehemiah city siyala siyala I so thank you to South Africa. Hallelujah. I so thank you to South Africa. South Africa is not going to be so. Never salwan. Brethren. Uthiku sinika spiritual intelligence. God has given us ukuqiqa kwango. Ukuze sibone izinto so that we can see things. Esenzeka kwi closet. That are happening in the closet. Arise church of Jesus Christ. Bakama bahlalka Yesu Christ. Arise church of Jesus Christ. Bakama bahlalka Yesu Christ. Arise church of Jesus Christ. Bakama bahlalka Yesu Christ. Your country is in trouble. Ihlabathi lakho sengxaki. Uthu ne I tell the officials. When he's speaking to the officials. I tell the basak. When he's speaking to his people. Utigubo. He says to them. Do you see? Ni abona na. Do you see? Ni abona na. Do you see? Ni abona na. Do you see the trouble with that? Ni abona na kasi kuyo. I want to believe that Nehemiah. Jifunu kolbu Nehemiah. Was realizing and discerning. Waya ape la esese. That some of them. Ukuba abanye ba. Are so comfortable. Basheli ba chesa. With the sweets yes, on that are even given by the same government to silence them because Usata go about the enemy. We are yes, destiny. He knows your destiny. Usata the enemy. We are yes, things. He knows where to break you. Fuga. Pagama. Umcholi. The enemy. We are yes, knows your strength. Fuga. Stand and rise. Fuga. Arise. Fug. Arise. It ain't figure I corona. When corona came. Some of us could take corona. We were already going through the first corona. It came with a mission. If we can enter to annihilate. To isolate. To divide. To kill. To steal. To destroy. The enemy thought he was done. I see pain. When he brought pain. He lost. He isolation. He destruction. He fear. I anxiety. I depression. The enemy thought he had won. I see poverty. When he brought poverty. I hunger. Yes, he said in shall. In hopelessness. Yes, he said we have been a temper. In inconsistency. Yes, he said we have been a goal. And brokenness. No go puka. Utu Nehemiah go verse twenty. Nehemiah says in verse twenty. The God of heaven. Uchi kwa masul. Will give us success. Uza usini kipumele. We his servants. I see nothing about Konziba. Bakona bakonza palamsha. There are those who are seven years. Zip is servants is coming. Where are the servants of the Holy Spirit? Where is the Church of Jesus Christ? Zip ba shalka Yesu Christ. Where is the Church of Jesus Christ? Zip ba shalka Yesu Christ. Uti we his servants. He says, "Ti nothing about Konziba." We'll start rebuilding. Sisa ukala sake. But as for you, go to Anina. Topai. We na topai. As for you, we na. San Palat. San Palat. As for you, we na. Keshem, Keshem. We have no inheritance here. Akoko Antoni zako isusa. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, lift up your voice and sing, sing O Sana, O Sana.
Hallelujah. A, a child who goes to, to homes. When they, they always going to other homes. What does he want from other homes? The spirit, the spirit of spiritual adultery. We are finding it in the name of Jesus. Children of churches and churches. They are not going to do church hopping. My brethren, when days were dark in my life, we used to say, no, I sit down and with my husband. You are only given birth to once. You are only given birth to once. You can't just change your surname. In fact, you can change your surname. God has got great news for you. Oh, I'm so that the house you are staying in, you are lost. Because your DNA is of your father and your mother. Every one of us. It's good to just visit aunts and, and grannies and whatever and come back. Because everyone is aligned to a certain father and mother. And when we are quarreling at home, you are told this is wrong. Hallelujah. Because you are given a hiding at home. Do you see the trouble we are in? We are born in like a school. The Bible says when Nehemiah, it is Bible in Nehemiah. Stayed there for three days. What shall we do? To go down to inspect the ukuba achong achong abonisi the the standard of damage. Achong the extent rather of damage. Achong the image or your yes into a pukile. 
You know, Masalana, when we are locked down like animals, and when we were caged like birds, the foundations of faith were shaken. And the wall of hope fell down. And its gates were destroyed by fire. The Lord is saying to us this morning, it's time for my church to mind her assignment. A church that will emerge and take up the spear and go to the battlefield. It's time to arise from the rubble of pain and anger. Forgiveness and bitterness. Complacency and comfort. And just being complacent. Like sons of like the sons of Issachar. It's time for the church of Jesus Christ. To take the shield of faith. And go into, into, into the city. One of the reasons. Behind Ugufalwa, when you are locked down, any of these that you saw about Ugufalwa, from hell, was to neutralize and numb society. Why are you going to went into solo? It's like, especially the church. Ika kuluka ziba anta. So that it can see Puma. Because when we go out. So Puma said, yes, another, uh, another culture. We'll already be given another culture. So that as the church of Jesus Christ, we may be neutralized. And instead of looking at, the, at life with the lens of the word, we would look at life with the lens of the world. Never have we experienced such dejection into Asia. That is sadness and, and depression. Inconsistency and lack of commitment in the church of Jesus Christ. In the end, mangas again fun swam. What 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 amazed me? He open jungba in kon to Jesus Christ. Is that when the church of Jesus Christ? He busy no kon ba he in that chunda pongu kam naka kadenjo is salvation. Was was busy and people thought they had escaped salvation. Other religions. Nezinye in kon. And other cultures. Nezinye in cultures. They are strengthening their faith. Zasi inisa ukololwa. Zasi inisa ngo. Zi they are busy strengthening even now. Go into the social media space. And point kena pa go song ngabelelwa. And see what is going on. They are not compromising about their values and set of beliefs. They will sell to you. We are still, we are still, uh, we are still hurt. But today we stand and we say we will not be sold alive. We are charging you to come back. Do you see the trouble we are in? 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 We are saying just like the sons of Isaac. We will not be those people that know what time it is. We will be able to interpret the time. We will be able to descend the time and not just discern and understand and interpret but be, be able to execute that which is supposed to be executed like Nehemiah today we are standing on top of a steel and we are inspecting and we are groaning one of the things as that struck me with Nehemiah entering Jerusalem. Is that he was riding on a a donkey that is or a mule. And I, I found similarities with another entry that happened in Jerusalem. In the New Testament. The Bible says when Nehemiah entered the, the gate and the ground 
He was riding on a donkey. And there was no other animal with him. Except the one he was riding. And I found that symbolic. Right there. In any prophetic moment, he was given a prophetic moment. And that's normal. We are born now. I don't know if you see what I'm seeing. Rock Port Elizabeth. Rock Port Elizabeth. Unayamaya. Unayamaya. Ungena e Jerusalem. Is entering Jerusalem. Equela ESC. On top of a donkey. With one thing in mind. Geto enya ngojonya. To build my church. Uso kwa kaiba. Agaya sindoba. He doesn't even know. Uku ya sosa. That as a Jesus is coming. Thousands and thousands. We mean ya gami ni. Thousands and thousands. We mean ya gami ni. Yes to come. Wa esa esa sa kuhusu. He is that generation. Ye na ukwa si ukwa si sugulua. That we fall run us. Eya tia hapa ma papi. Before church. John, when he's entering, Ungena in a triumphal entry. He's entering. No, 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 in your spirit, know that there was a Nehemiah that preceded John, that preceded Christ. Jesus is with you. He's saying, Here is your donkey. Get on top of it. Get on top of it. Get on top of it. In your depression. In your pain, in your bitterness, in your anger, in your unforgiveness, in that pain, in your spirit, now you have triumphed. Another thing that I noticed, the Bible says, he, he he went into the valley gate. Why can I go masango elo alonti? And we are capella. We scripture says fundile. If you realize in the scripture, we are going to need resistance. There was some resistance. Oh. We can't carry to Nehemiah. Oh my God. There's a there's a case oh. in Nehemiah. Anga kwa kangu kwa zungu na guzu that he couldn't enter into because there was resistance. This morning, Galenzani, stand up and resist the resistance. That is standing before you. Just like Nehemiah, take your pipe, take your pipe, take your pipe, and go into the valley. In valley, look into it. Is that place of groaning? Jesus. Hallelujah. In valley, the valley. In the way of color. Is that place of crying? Uti masha mama mama mama. Zondo ondi amasha. We are boy umta namkos. 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 Hallelujah. Ebe zibiwe. Ziabuya. Hallelujah. Sizogwaka. We have come to build the, the church of Jesus Christ. The foundations of our faith need groaning. There's something that is happening. Something is opening up. The heavens are opening up. Because the Nehemiah is in the day and night. The Bible says they went there. He didn't tell them. He didn't tell them where he is going. Firstly, he left with them. But the second time, he did not tell them. He did not tell them. Because when you are a child of God, with an assignment, with a clear mandate, you don't just go around telling people. There are things that you talk with other people. And those things you tell to the intercessors. But there are things that God will whisper to your ear. That you must go down the valley like Nehemiah. And Hannah and groan over them. And say this child is going nowhere. Be it a business, organization, or whatever that you are building. 
It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Another similarity that I, that I noticed is the fact that he was there for three days. And I want to declare to us prophetically that the third day has come. The third day has come. The third day has come. Your breakthrough has come. Rebuilding the walls of faith. Stand up, church, and rebuild the job of faith. We are rebuilding. We are rebuilding the walls of burdened leadership. In the last, in the last nine, ten minutes, we are rebuilding the walls of burdened leadership. See it. We are saying, I'm a Christ who are convicted. The Christians who are confident. I'm a, a convicted. I'm a Christ a, who, a, a, who are convicted. That would put God first. As I'm a Christ who are committed. Christians, as is Nikeleo. I'm a Christ who are, are, are covenant with God. Christians, as is Ngamani Sanoti. To build his church. I want to free you. I don't know what they've told you. And that's what I want to say to you. This church is not registered in our name. This church belongs to Rag Port Elizabeth. Tomorrow, we won't be here, we'll be in Cape Town. The church is going to be left here carrying on. It, has, it is not attached to any personality. So do not fear. We are building for your children. We are building for your children's children. Tina, we are appointed men. Just for a moment. To steer the ship. To steer the ship. So that we are alive. Tomorrow, maybe it will be you. You must stand. Let's build the foundation. And bring back the walls. We're erecting the walls. We are bringing back the yoke. On top of the church of Jesus Christ. We are bringing back the yoke. We are bringing back the yoke. On top of the church of Jesus Christ. In the book of First Samuel chapter 6. We mentioned it. I won't, be I won't I won't take much time in it. Hallelujah. The cows that were especially handpicked. That were still breastfeeding. Were appointed because they knew that perhaps if they take a bull, maybe it's comfortable. That is very comfortable. Or just a, a female cow. A comfortable. That is very comfortable. It was going to do whatever it wanted to do. But it was custom. That that they take exactly those ones. So that when they are carrying the ark of the covenant, they are crying going forward. Because their hearts are sore. Burdened leadership. And the burden church carries a load um, the pain when they see things not going the right way is the foundation the leadership focuses on things that are what they are they have been shaken there has been a shift in the paradigm and in perceptions our, our generation and the Elandelayo. See, food is in Doba in Gonzo in the way of fashion. We are teaching that the church is a place of friendship. See, food is in Doba in the way of Gonzo in the way of Gonzo in the way of Gonzo in the way of Gonzo. 
We have come to we taught them that church is a place to compete with Do you see the trouble we are in? Because everyone is gunning for things. But the Bible says in this question of scripture. In chapter 6 of 1 Samuel. They were crying. And they became obedient. Because they were led by the Holy Spirit. They didn't stray on the way. They didn't stray on the way. Because they were carrying the presence of God. Taking it back to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Hallelujah. The city in the name of the Lord. The pattern of the church. Is to build the church of Jesus Christ. To preach the gospel. And pastor believers. In this portion of scripture in chapter 2. There are gates that are mentioned. But there are many gates now in chapter 3. But the three gates that struck and took my attention. It was the fish gate. Or rather, it is the fish gate. The ship gate. And the dung gate. The fish gate, therefore. Stands for multitudes. The foundations is of evangelism have shaken. And the walls have fallen down in that area. Today, we are rising evangelists. It is said. We fish gate. It is where those who are selling would go and throw their nets. And there will be multitudes. So the fish gate is double pronged. It is evangelism and the economy. Jesus. Hallelujah. I must just see The traitors would throw the nets and people would come and they would come to buy for sustenance. Hallelujah. You, our posts are not going to be owned by principalities. We are speaking upon South Africa. From Richards Bay to Cape Town. We are not going anywhere. We are not going anywhere. Jesus. <laughs> this is a prophetic moment. Because some of you are going to be approached by the same parastatals to do big business. That would be a prophetic moment. So that you intercede. Hallelujah. There's a crisis. They took her here and said there's a crisis. In Cape Town. But it's a cap. We are not asking you, we are telling you. Because that pot needs alignment. A child of this house. A daughter of this house. We are standing in a prophetic moment. This is so sensitive. It needs a, a, a stomach like this. Evangelism. The slipper is upon the church. You know, as I've found a breakthrough because I started with Salon and Zagoya, her power, and Alain Zippe next door. Hello, beautiful. Zia Pella, if liars, Hallelujah. Zengons. I've started doing it devotions with a man, but say her power and go busy. Hallelujah. I laid it. Could that our What I'll be more than welcome. Could that gospel be open? That did you go? Who ministers to you? Because it's an important set. Ni zawo ni abana apa ni singa fani kukoma kungabanga baka anti ni twele ingagi set. Like I shall have a good intercessors, net prophet, net prophets. As of figure with situations, sikuwa azu detect. I'm going to take Antonio up. Hallelujah. And not only 
detect but manifest the presence of God. Amen. The Bible says when David saw the Ark of the Covenant. Hey, before I was amazed. It went to a, to a house of another man. Because David, I think you had an analyzer in him, choleric analyzer perhaps. Hallelujah. Because he wanted to analyze something about the ark. And God began to manifest prosperity and healing in the house of that man. David said, bring it back, it must come here. We need ZP intercessors. Where are the intercessors? CP intercessors. Where are the intercessors? Baponosana. Where are the laborers? Abasati Maibu. Who's going to say yeah. it must come back? Maibu. It must come yeah. back. Maibu. It must come yeah. back. Maibu. It must yeah. come back. The presence, the presence of God in the house of God. A leadership. Ubu kokeli. That will be burdened. To bring back the presence of God. To bring back the souls. Brethren. We are rebuilding. The foundation and the walls. Of prayer and fasting. I won't go much into detail. But when Nehemiah heard from Hanani, one of his brothers. The Bible says he was troubled greatly and he felt the shame because of the walls Satan wept with done that part now I realized one thing as we close that when prayer was taken out of schools and community um Meetings. When prayer was removed from parliament, and public gatherings, the foundations of purity were shaken. And the walls of protection fell down. Our children in schools were introduced to contraceptives, shaken foundations. And then they realized that the contraceptive was coming very slow. And then they were introduced to abortion. Sashugumi walls. Foundations and walls were shaken. As if that was not enough. Corporal punishment. They, they removed corporal punishment. I'm saying this with appreciation because Abandon have been abused. It went to us as parents disciplining our children. And it was legislated. Social media. Our kids are swearing at people on social media. As if that was not enough. Do you see the trouble we are in? They said you can smoke your weed. Alright. You can smoke your weed. It's fine. They didn't say you can smoke it. Let me correct that. What you are, you eat. If you are in the second, it's yes. They said you are allowed to use weed as, as this medicine. Have you seen what is happening in our schools? Some of our jewels are in mental institutions. Some are drowning themselves in the very drugs and alcohol. Because of depression. That is caused by abortion. And, and promiscuity at a young age. They are many things that are happening here. Our children are being trafficked. And nothing is being done. Or little is being done. 
are in full depression. Our children are depressed. The altar of prayer. In the of and intercession no, no, was compromised because because they took away the word from schools they took away the word with gatherings but I can see now it's coming back Hallelujah. when they legalize same sex marriages polygamy and polyandry when they saw that that it's coming very slow it, it, it will always start from the head I'm not telling anyone this is the reality that we are sitting with your open relationships they said no, it's allowed so a girl can have a girl and that girl can have a boy and another one and this same girl, the other girl but I have a good relationship I have a good relationship so these two girls are in a relationship each one of them they have a boy of their own and each boy of their own they have their other relationship and the Holy Spirit said to me they are being introduced to polygamy at a young age so that they figure that way figure in marriage so we can all do this thing together they are being brought to our houses. Wake up, church. Your child who is a boy. He's going to come with his wife who is a man. And, and ask from this man who is a wife. That they must marry another one who is a girl. We did not know that we will be here. At the time we were quiet, we, we did not sign those petitions. I want to say to us, do you see the trouble we are in? in South Africa lies in ruins. And these walls have been burnt by fire. The foundations of divine order are shaken by the Lord. When the foundations are shaken, what shall the righteous do? The righteous will stand and build. The righteous will stand and build. Meaningful devotions are coming back to our homes. We are digging deep to rearrange to solidify the foundations we are digging deep to solidify the walls of prayer the walls of righteousness the walls of purity the walls of holy living When the walls have been moved, the enemy is able to come and do whatever he pleases. God was sitting now. But today we are saying no. City no. Today we are saying no. Our nation. In our church. Our homes. We will not yield to the spirit. The walls of righteousness are coming up. The walls of prayer are coming up. The walls of faith are coming up. The walls of burden leadership are coming up. We as the servants of the Lord. Who will be this church? The ship gate is being restored. Those sheep, it's you and me. If fish is the one who's being fished out, the ship, the ship, the ship is the one who is inside. They restored the ship gate. If you look at, uh, the, at chapter 3, or in chapter 3, each gate, 
was assigned to a family. Each gate was assigned to a certain family. And so we are standing in the church sitting and saying, me and my house those who are saying they must leave their hands me and my house they are going to take one gate and they are going to take one gate they are going to stand with it and they are going to stand with it the Holy Spirit is saying The Holy Spirit is saying I put the dung gate there It is set The dung gate Was used Refuse 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 gate Or refuse, refuse, refuse The dung gate They, they, they used it for one purpose to abba priest to abba priest abba vangeli the teachers the apostles apostles and the brethren they would go to the temple and collect all the ash and collect the ash and all the dung from the slain animals from the slain animals. And this is always a sacrifice. That we are going to make a sacrifice. But they had the mangas. But something that amazes me. They were not allowed to go through the fish gate. They were not allowed to go out the ship gate. They were not allowed to come out of the fountain gate because we sin in the church we are the one who are going to chase it out they refuse in the church we are going to purify it and because it's purified we are helping others we are not going back we enter the church hallelujah we all the They say you are throwing a shadow. We are not going back. So we here we are church. We are collecting we are collecting promiscuity sin complacency lukewarmness gossiping jealousy unforgiveness bitterness it is very bitter it and ashes no truth. Yes, we are the, gathering them from this altar. Apa, apa, from every chair. As a pooming a fish gate. We are not going out the fish gate. Is out the file. Because we are going to make the evangelism desk. Ubufa, ubufa again. As a pooming a ship gate. We don't enter, we don't go out the ship gate. Gobas is out the file. Because we are with our knowledge. Abasalwa. The brethren. As a booming a fountain gate. We are not going out the fountain gate. Go back with fountain gate. Because the fountain gate. It is the stream of healing. It tank. And ashes. No two. As the fountain gate. They don't go to the fountain gate. Because they go to defile the water. So the one who drinks from this water. He will not thirst again. They shall not thirst again. Again. We are collecting the dance. And we are taking it. We are going to the dung gate. We are going to burn it. Because they say they would go and throw it. We very of kindred. That is where Beleza Pooh. He stays. At this moment. We are going. We are going. We are going. We are going. We are going to throw it. We are going to throw it. We are going to throw it. 
una vez you're going to throw it. Si hoy chula. 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 You're going to throw it. As we restore. As we restore. Jehovah As we restore. Jehovah Come The one who drinks from this water. Oh, the Bible says. When God created the earth, He found that it is upon the waters. He found that it is upon the waters. He found that it is upon the waters. I'm going somewhere. Thirty minutes left. Thirty-four minutes left. Hallelujah. He founded it upon the waters and established it and established it upon the seas. The Bible tells me that when God was destroying sin from earth or from the earth if you will he did not only reign the Bible says he opened cisterns of water. He opened cisterns of water. He opened cisterns of water. He tore apart the earth. What happens a man? And he broke the water broke through. That was buried underneath. You must remember what he said. He spoke. What it? And there was crust. We are walking upon the cross. We are walking upon the cross. Do not look down upon the thing of God. It is going to confuse you. The Holy Spirit says to me, when I'm dealing with my church, when I'm dealing with this earth, when I'm dealing with the church, when I'm dealing with the sin, I stop at nothing. I can't just unmind. He says, under you, the, the earth is going to open. Even under you. To deal with the pride. Because the Brethren, I'm not someone who disobeys. This is not in the notes. I call this notes in But the Lord just anxious me to say God this. To deal with the pride. To deal with the evil that is in my church. So when your foundations are shaking, pull off. Go to the valley. Inquire of the Lord. What went wrong way like Nehemiah? You must inspect your situation. You must inspect our situation. God, God is going to tell you. He's no respecter of persons. He's, he's going to tell you that you must stop drinking. Your wine. Your wine. You must leave this wine. Whom? Leave it. Leave it. Hallelujah. The water is broken through. God But now. We are speaking the water of restoration. The one who drinks from this water will not thirst again. But if you are here, I want to say to you, we were not born like this. We were not born like this. There's somewhere where we are coming from. We were foreigners in relation to Israel. We were far from God. I remember my day. I am begging you. If you are not born again today, please come to the front. My day was on the 7th of June. 1992. I was very stubborn. But the Holy Spirit overcame me. Can you please close our eyes? Can we lift up your hand if you say, 
I'm putting aside everything at this moment. I cried, brethren. I cried bitterly. I said, Lord, please help me. I thought I didn't need Jesus. I was fine. I just went to church to dance because I love music. But that day, all my sins, God, put them in front of me. And they were very clear. If you are here, you want to accept Jesus quickly. Our time is up. Please come forward. Just show, us, show us by raising your hand. Please. Just lift up your hand. Just lift up your right hand. We are with you. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. Just lift up your hand, please. We are waiting for you. 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 We're waiting for you. Thank you, Jesus. If you are here today, and we are saying, my foundations are shaking. I need to build a wall. Please come forward. The leaders are here. The pastors and leaders are here to minister to you. As we close, Bazalwana, can you come down? Can you come down? Can you come down? You know you are drowning. You don't have to be ashamed. Your wall needs to come up. The wall of protection needs to come up. Thank you, Jesus. And we just pray together as we close the service. Father, we thank you this morning. Siabulela Tikona Manjonga, your prophetic word that we've just released right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are going out, Gosiam, with one purpose to rebuild the broken walls of this city, of this country, of our homes, of our neighborhoods, of our families, of our children. Siabulela Tikowetu. Thank you so much, Daddy. And Father, as we leave, we pray a blessing over your children. We speak some 20, that your face will shine upon them. That they will not lack for bread. Your protection over them, Psalm 91, is in the action as we speak. In the name of Jesus, they will lack nothing and they will get to their homes safe and sound. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Can we give Jesus a big hand of praise? Come on, church. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. Come on, church. Can we praise the Lord at this time? Hallelujah.